Well, hi there. I have bad news. Humanity understands almost nothing. And anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't even understand how many things they don't understand. But we've developed a way to understand what we don't yet understand. We call it science. And science is probably wrong about almost everything. So what good is it? I have with me today a bag. And inside of this bag I have placed something. What is it? This is like Blue's Clues today. Just go ahead and answer right to the screen. What did I put in my bag? You might be thinking, I have no idea what's in this bag. But that isn't true. Uh, for example, is there a live whale in my bag? Or a planet? Or a living leprechaun? You know more than you think. You could probably list a near infinite number of things that are not in the bag. How do you already know so much? Clever fellow. Or lady fellow. But, of all the things that could be in the bag, how confident are you that the one that you picked is correct? Are you even certain that the things you assume couldn't be in the bag really aren't in the bag? Maybe I have a shrink ray. Or I just caught a leprechaun can't know for sure. So how could you become more certain about what I have placed inside of this bag? Well, you'd probably need more information, more evidence. And for this reason, I have brought Jason with me today. And Jason is going to feel gently and respectfully <laughs> the outside of this bag and describe to you what he feels is in there. All right, would you like to now describe? Honestly, I... I don't know. It feels circular. There's a, a hole or a center. Should I pick it up? No, I should not pick it up. Um, there's ridges and there's like a like an indent on the sides. It's like a coil. It feels coiled. Something coiled. All right, that's, uh, that's been excellent. <laughs> it feels alive. Just kidding. I don't know. Now that you've heard this, what's in the bag? Go ahead and shout it out. Are you more or less confident than you were before about what I have placed inside of this bag? Are you certain? about what I put in the bag. All right, I'm gonna give you a little more information. And for this, Will has enthusiastically accepted the opportunity to feel without looking what is inside of the bag by placing his hand inside of the bag for science. Be gentle. Something in there. It's not gonna bite me, is it? I don't know. Super He's scary. gutsy. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I, I just feel cloth. I just need to go further in. It's hard. I think it's a whip. Okay. <laughs> Feels like plastic or a lizard tail. And it's coiled. Okay! Now that you've heard this... <sighs> What have I placed inside of my bag? Are you more confident or less confident that you know what's in the bag than you were before? Are you certain? What would you need to be absolutely certain about what I've placed in this bag? And what color is it? I'll let you think on that one. This is science. Science is a methodical search for the truth that draws the most reasonable conclusions it can from the available evidence. If we had all of the evidence, then we wouldn't need science. Because we do not have all the evidence, as you've just experienced, 
we have to work with incomplete evidence. The more evidence we have, the more confident we become that we've figured out the truth. But we're never absolutely certain. There could always potentially be some piece of evidence yet to be discovered that's still out there that would prove that everything we thought we knew was false. Thus, claiming absolute certainty about anything isn't science. That's called dogma. Some people view the fact that science is always changing with new evidence and it's never absolutely certain as a weakness. And it does feel good to be certain. It's hard to feel comfortable with uncertainty. Unfortunately, absolute certainty is a feeling reserved for people who don't even know how little they know. Science is also limited to things for which evidence can be collected. This is why, for example, we can't use science to determine if there is or is not a god, or whose system of morals is actually right. How would you test these questions? Science doesn't claim to know. If you had to place a bet on any conclusion of science, it would be a safer bet to say that what science thinks is not quite right than to think it's perfect. However, what you will discover is that the conclusions of science are generally much closer to the actual truth than any other conclusions out there regarding the same questions. They fit the existing evidence that we have, and new evidence, as we discover it, will probably refine them further. We might need to make little tweaks. They could even prove that everything we thought we knew before was false, but there's also a very good chance that future evidence will be similar to what we've already found, and will only help support the conclusions that science has already generated. Each new piece of evidence that we find gets us just that much closer to the truth. Is a conclusion based on incomplete evidence always right? No. But is it more likely to be right than a conclusion that's not based on evidence or that ignores a considerable amount of evidence? You bet. We still understand almost nothing, but thanks to science, we're understanding a little bit more all the time. And I think that's pretty rad. If you have any questions about science, or you'd like for us to make more videos about science in the future, please comment. Please let us know how you like this video. And as always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Well, hi there! Haha! Oh boy! We have got a great video planned for you today! <laughs> <laughs> about almost everything. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Science. Sorry. 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 Or sorry. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Res respectfully. Respect, yes. What on earth? Just gently and respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm super nervous. You gonna show us? No. This is ridiculous. <laughs> 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 He's so fragile. I